And I also, you also said that you was real close with Jay Money too. Yeah, me and Jake, bro, nigga, before they you say, know, well, yeah. before his demise, like man, me and Money, you know, we used to be outside, like in my building, like we used to be on AA at night, like so. We used to be pulled up waiting for niggas to slide through and folks used to be overly geeked up off the pills. We used to be having to keep this bro because he get off them jigs mm -hmm. and he two poles out. Oh, boy, we don't make, I'm talking about crying because of the niggas we lost. Crying trying to walk and slide on them niggas blocks for real. Yeah. Hey, man, Jay Money used to be a motherfucker off them drugs, bro. That shit used to be, I love Jay Money, but that shit used to be like, bro, calm down because you going to get us killed. We walking over there, we assed out. We trying to chase you back like, man, it was, it was it had to be a lot, like, bro, chill out, for real. Yeah, so other than that, though, like, what type of person was he? Cause man, Jay Money was a funny-ass dude, for real. Jay Money was funny as hell, bro. He was a real cool, he wasn't no, you feel me? You get niggas in the hood who overdo that shit. Folks never overdid nothing. Jay Money was just a cool-ass, you know, the guys, bro, they really be, they be on the bitches. They be thirsty for the females and shit. And, Shit like that, Jay Money was a, he was a real. Yeah, so like, um, when you found out Jay Money died and stuff, bro, like, where was you at around that time? Shit, I was still on the block, um, shit. I think, uh, Dre, cause y'all, if anybody know Dre was with him, he was in the car when Jay Money was, you know, when the shit was going on. So they slid back to the block. You know, Dre was my man, so I was, you know, them had a little bit of close with Dre, but around those times and shit, and, like they told me the story and shit, man. It was fucked up. Like just, I'm just saying how many shots was wrong off, and you know how they was just thinking that he was set up. Cause like how the fuck they knew that? Cause he went he to a girl up. house, right? Yeah, Mona Lisa. Everybody know. Her. Yeah. So pe was people looking at her like she probably? Yeah, had yeah. Motherfuckers was looking at her like that. Like yeah. how could they not? Like he slid over there, then they know. But like obviously, man, it could have just like they. That's that. That was they block. Yeah. They could have just. You feel me? Cause it's it's crazy in hey, Chicago. Man, Everything's so close, bro. Like, it's close. like it's really right there, bro. Yeah, like, literally. So. STL, EBT, that shit. Uh, nigga, KI used to be riding a bike trying to. Bro, we used to be trying to chase her, knock her goofy ass off the bike. She used to. She's a funny person back in them days. She was funny. She used to yeah. do a lot of funny shit, like for real. She used to be trying to. She was playing with death a lot for real. Word. What about T Roy, man? Was you real? Yeah, that's. What, would you say T Roy was the the wildest one out of O Block though? Like as far as like J Money, T Roy, um, who else was the who else? Vaughn, Vaughn of course, uh, Boss Top, um, Drake. Would you? Because it seemed like T Roy get a lot of love, bro. Like yeah. a lot of people fuck with him. So what type of person was he? Man, actually, what I I was you know I was gonna try to say Vaughn, but like Vaughn. Was more of a lover on a block. T. Roy was T. Roy all the time. Like if you was not really a motherfucker, like if you want no alpha male, and you was like kind of a bit from them, he was like, hey, you know, fuck man, T. Roy. You feel me? I'm alpha. Nigga, nigga and me and T. Roy got the same birthday. We both Scorpio. We birth B day twins. So you know, nigga ain't never play no games with me. Hood always. Yeah. All right, nigga. Anything you could do, I could do better. Type shit. So <laughs> niggas, you know, I was coming. But T. Roy, I definitely say was probably he. He, he got to take it, bro. Cause T. Roy was just he was ruthless. He was ruthless. But outside of that block shit, I'm saying. I really, I gotta go with Vaughn for real, cause Vaughn really was that way outside that block. Robbing, shooting and shit, fighting. Like, nigga, me and T. Roy never really was going to put hands on motherfuckers like that too. But me and Vaughn, we was stepping on motherfuckers all the time. Yeah. Brother, nigga, he was teaching me some of the coldest moves on how to snake niggas and shit. The bigger niggas and shit, dropping the weed out there, dropping. We was, we grew up knowing how to fight so good because we was dropping grown niggas on the drive all the time. Just us. Yeah. You feel me? We be going out there. We wouldn't fight no kids. I mean, we would probably catch you walking and we ain't know you. We'd chase you, beat you. But we was out there fighting grown niggas, bro. For real. I got a I got a funny ass story with uh Vaughn Sosa and um me and I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was just us three. We was out there fighting, but I'll let you ask some more questions. Yeah, yeah. I wanna get to that though. You can get into it. He said it. I wanna get to that. Yeah, yeah. What what was what was that story about though? Nigga, I told you we man, you coming down the the drive, bro, we just we just be motherfuckers for just, real. Just just cause just it was, cause fun. It was yeah. fun, we was young, we was dumb, we, you know. When you when you in a poverty stricken area, nigga, you gonna do what you gonna do what what you think is is fun and funny no matter how 
you know, a motherfucker feel from the shit that you doing, all the beatings and shit that, you know, we was giving out, bro. We fucked them motherfuckers up, but uh, we was just, but this was the first time I ever seen a club. Hit nigga was really out there get up with us on for real. So this other shit was, we, you know, we just found the motherfucker to fight. Yeah. Normally when Vaughn hit a motherfucker, they drop. Like, we drop, boop, boop. And we just stumped that goofy ass out. That's really all it is. Yeah. But he hit this one club. Cry, I'm talking about club, look at his ass, baby. <laughs> like, folk, it was so, <laughs> me, folk, normally, it was weird. You know, normally I'd be thirsty to try to, you know, get in. But I was dying laughing. Yeah. Cause when this nigga he fought the club one and go on. He threw yeah, some an older man type shit. Yeah, he's like, an okay. older man. Yeah. Okay, he's an older man for sure. He probably in his thirties for real. We thought he was a crackhead. Yeah. But, like, but he nigga, even if he <laughs> was, he's a strong ass crackhead. He's out there throwing them bitches. Yeah. So they throwing them bitches. We right there on sixty third, right there under the air. They throwing them bitches, nigga. Um, so. It used to be a phone pole, right? Like if you come down from the L, the yeah. one where you can come through, like to get up to the, uh, to go up there to the trains or whatever, it used to be a phone pole right there. So nigga, they get over there, they fighting by this way. I'm still laughing like, ah, man, if I got this shit, I ain't, every fight, like, you know, you were getting so much of a thrill off the laughing factor and I was goofy as hell. So yeah. all the times, like, I was just there for the laughs for real. Yeah. So nigga, I'm talking about, they fight by the phone pole. Sosa didn't even punch him for real. Sosa like hit the nigga with the forearm. Why he hit the nigga with the forearm? Mm -hmm. Nigga fell right out. Hit the pole. Was sleep. I swear to God. Sosa go back to the block. He get tell him up for he knocked him out and shit. I'm like, man, get your bitch ass off. <laughs> you ain't even knock him out. You push that nigga to the phone pole for real. You didn't punch him. You pushed him. But on bro, nigga hit his head on that phone pole so hard. I thought that nigga died. Yeah, <laughs> that's a crazy ass story. Though. See, y'all niggas just wild. You know, when you're young, though, you do you do, you do, do a lot, a lot of, of crazy shit. Yeah. I know niggas that's locked up for uh, beating on motherfuckers and, and the people that they beat on, they die, you know, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, man. 